All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that If they don't trust me either, I respect that If she be down the ride, oh, I'll bet that Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling airy? Let's talk. There's no accountability. There's no accountability. We don't hold ourselves accountable for anything. We don't try to be responsible for our actions. <laughs> yeah, I'm going in. I'm a little bit tired of it. I'm going to tell you a story. Lady goes and she, I hope that she's actually watching this. She goes and she applies. She goes through the whole process of applying. Y'all know what it was like to get in there. You know what it was like to get in there. <laughs> she goes through the whole process of applying, waiting, emailing, writing stuff back and forth, watching my videos, doing everything, everything, everything. She gets in and she goes and she, 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 she goes to meet the people. At her station. And she goes in there because she has to go get her schedule for the next day. She meets the afternoon supervisor as well as the secretary. The lady next day was supposed to be to work at 530 in the morning. And she quit. She quit. She went through that whole process and she quit. She said she didn't like the way that the supervisor was talking to her. She, her feelings were hurt. Talk about a sense of entitlement. I don't think she was going to last anyway by the amount of silly questions she asked. She wanted me basically to fill out her application for her. Everything handed to her. She didn't like the schedule that was given to her. As a distribution clerk. And they told her what her schedule was, and she didn't like the way that she was like, well, do I? And, and they, she was like, well, no, you know, that's how was everybody starting. The next day, she just didn't come in, and she quit. Who does that? But <laughs> back to the main topic, I'm tired of people not being held responsible or accountable for the actions or anything, for anything. In this place, it's toxicity roots from the fact that people are never held accountable for their actions. For instance, how many times do you know, how many people do you know that call out on a regular basis because they can? And I'm not talking like, you know, once a month. I'm talking about like, you know, three times a week, two times a week, just because they can, because they don't have no sense of accountability. They don't care. They know that they won't get fired. They'll go through the firestorm. They'll go through the, the whole foolishness. But they know at the end of the day, they won't get fired. And they do accounts constantly. Can you imagine? Can you fathom? Can you fathom if there was real consequences for people's actions? The way people treat each other in this place. The, the main thing, attendance. Just the whole screw it and I'm out of here yeah, I'm yeah, and then just know that they coming back the next day because nothing can be done because the union is going to protect them. Somebody wrote me once and said the union protect the people that don't need to be protected. The ones that are always in trouble. That's the ones that they protect. That's the ones that they fight for to keep their jobs. Jay, why are you going so hard on our people? Because <laughs> these are the same people that eventually become supervisors. And those are the ones that end up talking to us like trash. That part. Who holds these people accountable? Who holds us accountable for anything? Let's just say I wanted to call out. Let's just say, oh, because we're entitled to a job. That's what it is, right? Because we work for the government, we're entitled to a job. Because we have the union backing up, we're entitled to a job. Because we don't feel like going to work today, we're entitled to a job. Can you do this in any other job and think you still have a job? Can you? Seriously, can you? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Can management talk to people like that without serious consequences? In any other real life job minus the post office.
toxic work environment, toxicity. It, it, you know, a buddy of mine, and this story is going to just go into something else because I'm on my rant right now. He was telling me about how his kid wasn't really held accountable or didn't take the accountability or didn't take the responsibility for his actions. He was mad at the, at the people. He lashed out at the people that caught him in the act. How many people you know do that? They know they dead ass wrong in whatever it is they're doing, but yet instead of acknowledging the issue, they get mad at the people that caught them. How do we teach our kids? What do these people teach their kids? Oh, if you just don't get caught, <laughs> or you can get away with it, just... No, no. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now. Scenario was, kid didn't have a license. Got caught by the police officer. Didn't like the way the police officer treated him. He had some extra paraphernalia in his vehicle and got arrested and was cursing him out. And then, you know, all this stuff. He getting mad at them. And we see this all the time. This is on the news all the time. Yo, why are you pulling me over? You were speeding. That's why you got pulled over. That, that's why you got pulled over. Because you were texting while you were driving. That's why you got pulled over. You get mad at the person that's doing your job instead of getting mad at yourself, holding yourself accountable for your actions. We get mad at our supervisors because we get pulled into the office because we banged out four or five days. This starting to sound familiar? This is in every post office USA. How do I know? Because you all tell me. This is it. This is it. Who holds anybody accountable for anything? We want, we don't want to be held accountable for our actions, for the things we say, for the things we do, for the moves we make. But here's the best part. We get mad when the joy starts making moves and nobody knows. And we say, Yo, what kind of shit is that, man? Nah, man, you were supposed to tell us about this beforehand. Y'all, y'all don't even know why he doing it for. It is crazy, man. It's some bull. You know, he can't do that. Who holding that man accountable? Oh, shit. Reality hit. Reality hit. How's he going to sit there and talk to people that have never been held accountable for anything before? That's like trying to deal with, this is me included, spoiled kids, a parent, any parent, a school teacher <clears throat> walks into a class with a bunch of spoiled and bad children, right? That's us running the asylum. How does that one teacher supposed to deal with us? We badger them, badger them, badger them, badger them, badger them. Five years of that. Then the next group comes in and they actually have some decent children. That teacher is ready for war. That teacher going to talk to them any kind of way. Why? Because of the history that he's already encountered. Check that out. Am I making sense? Am I reaching anybody right now? Am I talking to you? Yeah, yeah. Think about what I just said, because nobody in this place is held accountable for our actions. I have a supervisor. Actually, I have a boss and we've had words before. Overall, he has good intentions overall. But the way I hear some of the people talking to the manager, no respect, period, none, none. It is very difficult be, being a manager when you got to manage people that have been in the post office that are like fixtures. 20 years, 15, 30 years, whatever it is. 
because you can't manage them. You know why? Because they know everything. They know they can curse you like a dog. And there'll be no consequences for it. There'll be none. Because who's going to fight for them? The manager, the, 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 the union. Same thing about the managers. Managers curse you out. You try and file EEOs. Then you got labor relations in the pocket with the managers. Nobody's held accountable for anything in this place. This is the epitome of toxicity. Why are you saying all this, Jay? Did something happen to you? Nope. Observations. Observation, observation, observations. I just, I can't figure out how we, the people that I reach, can't seem to come together and start eliminating the toxicity. Come in with your smile. Leave your troubles at home. I know I said a joke the other day. I was like, you know, one guy coming in my job every day and this man pissed off and I always beat him to the punch. Man, shut up, man. I hate you. Whatever it is. And he just looked at me like, damn, he got to me first. <laughs> yeah. You know, you got to break the monotony of this foolery in this place with some positivity. I said it a long time ago. Where there is light, darkness cannot exist. Did you hear what I said? Where there is light, darkness cannot exist. It is up to anybody that hears me to be the light that at least start to make this place work. Myself and myself included, because there's some days where I just want to bash people upside the head because of the foolery. And then I got to bite my tongue, be bleeding sometimes. And I got to remember, I have to look at things in a different perspective because this is going to be until I retire. And I have to make the best of this. And I can't be a grump every day. I can't be the negative. There has to be positive. There has to be positive. Because two positives equal positive. Five positives equal five positive. You got 10 positives and one negative? One bad apple spoils the bunch. But it's up to us to try to be the light in this darkness. Take accountability for our actions. Please stop with the bang bangs calling out. Because all it's doing is putting stress on your fellow brothers and sisters that got to work. I mean, we all got issues. All of us. But when... Yo, there's a, there's a clerk. Not only is she a clerk, she a union steward. I believe this lady shows up to work seven times a month. A month. Seven times a month. And when she got to get put on a different thing, she loses it. Oh, why are you putting me over here? No, this is, uh, Gets mad and inside, I'm going home. You wasn't doing anything anyway. You the negative that they talking about. And she will file grievances. Let me tell you how dirty this heifer is. She filed grievances. She has people at the station being her spies. Hey, if anybody does any work, you let me know. That way I can file a grievance. Great. That's what you're supposed to do. Shop steward. You know what this heifer does? She goes in pockets. She'll get the grievances for her. Lady, you wasn't even at work. You wasn't even at work. You see what kind of evilness management got to deal with? And they got to sit there and, uh, you know what? We got to pay this lady. We got to pay this out. And this lady, she was right. She was home. She called out. For, you know, we still got to pay her. That ain't right. What about the people that you had snitching for you? Don't and only pay them like once a month. But she'll collect off of everybody. But she don't show up. Toxic. No accountability foolishness come on man let's make this work this is jh's evening rant all right y'all leave some of y'all business in the comment section we want to read your business because i read everybody business all right all the people read your business too we out